Clearly look at the right estimation. Hmm? What happens in the right operation? So we looked at the read operation first. Now we look at the write operation. Over here, we we make these four transistors there. M1, M2 were already there where we say Vx has appeared. And we also now add the other side where, uh, where zero is to be written. You know, V int needs to be discharged. Now you say a good write operation has happened when V int has gone as close to zero as possible. Are you with me? A write yes, operation sir. has happened when V int comes to as close to zero as possible. Okay. So now again, we simply do the Kirchhoff's law. We simply apply Kirchhoff's law. We say the current coming from M4 has to be sunk by the write driver. And the, the current going from M3 has to kind of also discharge V int. Hmm? So IDS M4 and IDS M3 equations are written. We define, just like we had defined cell ratio there, we define pull-up ratio there. Huh? The size of the, uh, the size of the M4 is the pull-up upon the size of the pass gate. And we again arrive at the quadratic equation. When we solve the quadratic equation, this is what we get. Okay. So again, those of you who have not done this analysis, I would strongly recommend that you please do this. I'm, I'm not solving this for you. I'm just showing it to you so that you can do this at leisure and get a better understanding of what happens during the right operation. Hmm? So now with that equation, we again do the same kind of variations. What is the impact of pull-up ratio? And you will see that when pull-up ratio is very high, or when pull-up ratio goes high, then V int rises. It means I'm not really able to write into the memory cell. When I keep a still weaker pull-up ratio, my V int goes still lower. We keep a pull-up ratio of 0.5 for further analysis. And now introduce mismatch. You will see that with mismatch as expected. So what we have done, we have said that pass gate is slower. See, what did we want? We wanted, uh, we wanted pass gate to be faster. Hana? Pass gate is faster means pull up ratio is small. So for the worst case analysis in, in the presence of mismatch, we put pass gate at three sigma slow. We see V in rises from 30 to 40. You increase the VT of the pass gate and you also put, uh, uh, increase the VT of the, uh, change the VT of the uh, pull up and you see this goes still further. So the system is degrading. In terms of supply voltage, what do you expect? As I reduce the supply voltage, will writability improve or degrade? So it should improve, sir. It should improve. Why? So, uh, if I'm lowering the supply, then the pull-up is becoming weak, sir. And if my pull-up becomes weak, then my writability of zero will improve. So, if I reduce the supply voltage, <laughs> you will see it degrades. Because my pass gate now also sinks lesser current. Sir, See, pull I up is in saturation region. Yes, sir. Pull up is still in saturation region. Pass gate is in linear region. As you reduce the supply voltage, pass gate goes into still more resistive mode. Pull up is still operating in saturation. So my V int actually increases. You see, V int is lowest when VDD was 1 volt. Even at 1.1 volt, VDD degraded, uh, V int degraded. So the trend that you're talking about, that trend is right when you're talking of going to a higher voltage. But as you go to lower voltage, the second parameter, which is the current being sunk from the pass gate, that comes into picture. And that degrades the sex setting. Okay? So I mean, I'm not able to get it that by with increase also I'm degrading, with decrease also I'm degrading. So Yes, that's the... That's the challenge of a, a non-CMOS 
uh, ratioed kind of a design you could experience that stuff so there was three so sir, when I'm seeing the supply voltage, I am meaning to supply means all the word line bit text. You are reading yeah. everything. Everything. So here, so sir, here though my pull up will become weaker, but my the B, uh, the reduction in the pass gate is, is more. That is dominating here. It is kind of that. Because see, the pass gate was never operating at its full strength, na? It was in yes. linear region. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, na. Yeah, oh, so that is what you need to see. What is in linear region? What is in uh, saturation region? So the impact is like this. Pass gate degrade mode. Yeah. So what happens when I simply lower array supply? Do not lower the bit line and word line. So you see, it was sixty three. I lowered just the array. I saw an improvement now. Okay. This is where pass gate has not degraded now. Yes, sir. This is where only the PMOS has degraded. Are you able to see this? Since we are not varying the word line. Yes. Okay. yes so sir. VDD lowering, VDD lowering, but not lowering word line and bit line is a right assist technique. What goes for a toss when we do this? Quickly. Right time. Right time. Hana? Because your pull up has become so weak, now write time goes for a toss. You're able to write, but it takes much longer. Hmm? So, but, I will call this as, but I will call this as a right assist thing, right? Uh, we, it yeah, is a right yeah. assist thing, yes. Okay. Uh, now let us look at the impact of word line. So, again, as the word line is raised. So I have kept array and bit line both at 0.7. I simply raise the word line. Hmm? And you will see, I see an improvement. So word line lowering was a read assist scheme. Word line raising is a write assist scheme. So if you are in MUX4, can you use word line raising as a write assist scheme? So it will it will have some issues, sir. Yes, yes sir. because word line raising would degrade the stability of the adjacent memory cells. You cannot really use word line raising or word line boost as a write assist scheme for higher MUX configurations. Hmm? You can use it in MUX one though. So the paper that I was mentioning to you about, where we use multiple read and write assist schemes in parallel to go to very low voltages. In that paper, you will see that we are doing something of this sort. We are using word line boost. We have a physical MUX4, but we have an electrical MUX1. So just go and check out that paper. How It's a very interesting paper. Okay. Now let's look at the impact of VSS. So you will see that when VSS is raised, what happens when VSS is raised? VX rises. As VX rises, my writability improves. So writability was being was increasing, sir. Yeah. So, so my writability is decreasing. Writability improved now because this voltage lowered from sixty three to fifty three. Oh yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Writability improved, but when I raise the VSS, what degrades? The stability of the cell degrades. So again, if I am able to change VSS, see the layout that we just saw. How was the VSS there? The layout that we just saw, we said VSS is going, you know, is, is connected on these uh, uh, two adjacent memory cells have the same VSS and there is a metal four which would connect to this VSS. So if I change the supply of, of a particular metal rail, huh, the adjacent cell supply also degrades. Hmm. I need to take care of what happens to the stability of this particular cell now. Are you able to see this? Yes, sir. So, but even the stability of that cell also will degrade, right? Because... See, you are writing into this memory cell. So, is there stability degrading is what you want? Yes. It is the adjacent cell which we are worried about. Yes, sir. 
hmm? which was in read mode. Now, what happens when we use HVT devices and stuff like that? We see as we go to HVT devices, uh, the V int actually increases. So V V bump nahi hai, V int hai. This is a typo. I will correct this later. Okay. So writability degrades. So high VT high VT memory arrays are used on a regular basis, but when you use high VT memory arrays, both readability and uh, writability degrade. Okay. Sir, अपने worst case देखेंगे ना हम तो इसमें यानी हमने नीचे PG को fast क्यों कर रखा है? PG को slow करना चाहिए था मैं यहाँ पे. हाँ हाँ ये वो actually this was uh, ये V bump this was slide copied from the read part so that is where it has gone go. I will correct this. Thanks for pointing out. Okay. So uh, please do this analysis. If you have written the equations, found the equations already for yourself, just go ahead and extend it further. If you have uh, not done that yet, uh, please make those equations and make this short program. You know, you could use my uh, Python or you could you do it in MATLAB. Do whatever. Just do this and see for yourself how different variables as they change, how they impact the uh, writability and readability of a memory cell. When you do this play, you know when you play like this, you will have a much better understanding of designing the memory cell. So when you will enter into your project, you will be able to work on the project much better. If you don't do it, you will struggle at the time of doing your project. So better you do it. Okay. So now we come to 